welcome to James Lewis's Express Lane, where we get you out as fast as possible. Bringing you the review for Stay, Stay, People's Democratic Republic of Korea. A visual novel dating simulator game that involves you, an American soldier, going to visit some pen pals, Zhang and Unji, which apparently are ambiguous, kind of like Dana or Aaron are, whether they be male or female. You think they're a couple of guys. You get there and it turns out it's sisters. One very busty, the other one not. The other one older, more mature, the other one not. It It's by the same people who did Pans or Models Tank Dating Simulator, so you kind of know what you're going in with. You're going to have history, you're going to have humor, you're going to have st stupid stuff. Just It's, it's going to be an entertaining time. You know it. Going in, so get ready. And man, I was so weird because... I went into it blind. I didn't look anything up. I like to go into these kind of games blind, so I don't know the twists. I don't know what's going to happen. That way, when they happen to me, no genuine reaction and all that. But honestly, being a visual novel, it's a lot of reading. And some backgrounds, but they even make point of the game like, wow, if we had more money, we could have gotten more backgrounds on. What? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh... You can choose where to go to every day. Do you go to the beach with Unji? Do you go to the ship with Zhang? Maybe take a trip here with Zhang or instead of you go to the trip there with Unji. When I first played through, I did a balance. I hung out with Unji, then Zhang, then Unji. Then you had to go to this spa place where they wear they wear bathing suits, but you going, oh, I read in Japan, whatever, you got to no. know dip in naked, so it's probably the same here, but they didn't want to get in trouble for whatever being shown, so they made sure that the ladies had their bathing suits on. Although apparently there is a mod for it to, no, they won't be wearing their bathing suits or whatever, but I'm not in the Toon Poon, so I really don't care. I don't want to deal with that. Game's not that expensive, so if you want to get it and then try out the mod, be my guest. I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, but on the first playthrough, since I did Balance... It's like, all right, well, that was a fun trip to the spa. Oh, yeah, this is going to be all spoilers, by the way. All right, before I spoil, I say get the game. If you're a visual novel fan, get the game. It's not that expensive. It's pretty funny. There's, like, I'm reading, like, oh, I remember that. That actually happened. The Detroit salute being called the Hawaiian good luck sign. It's like, ah, it's a middle finger, but the North Koreans had no idea. Or the another playthrough I did, and they talk about this tree that, like, we did a military operation to take out this tree. And it was because it was a giant ass tree that the North Koreans were able to use. Like, all right, we had to buy behind this and then we can you know, take pot shots at him and all that. And like, they, I don't think they ever killed anyone, but I know it's just annoying. Like, saying all of them, ding! What the? God damn it, they're behind that tree again. We we can't see them. So eventually, the military said, and I think it was 1978, they sent the troops out there and they, like, they spent money, time, resources to send the troops out and destroy this tree. And this isn't that story's in the game. It's like, ah, I know that story. So, yeah, but again, of course, the humor. There's a lot of fourth wall breaking and stuff like that. And just general humor that's not fourth wall breaking. And the story's like, that's just, it's a really good game. Really well thought out. The script and all that's pretty good. The storyline's pretty good. So, yeah, I do recommend getting this game. Now, spoilers. Un, deux, trois. First playthrough, I just, like I said, I balanced. I went, Unji, Jean, Unji did the trip. And, like, the choices you can make here and there, it's, like, sometimes side with Unji, other times side with Zhang. So I got the balanced ending, I guess you'd call it, where you get arrested, thrown in a prison camp for two weeks until your spirit is, well, hopefully they're trying to break your spirit. But then after that, they make a deal where you teach your military English, they keep you alive. <sighs> it's like, well, hey, fine, be a good Korean. Like, like one of the dates trips you can go on is near the border like why not just like oh we're gonna go on a date here do, 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 and book it i mean eventually you gotta figure that they'd like let up on you like oh he's been a good korean all these years we're gonna let him go and then you book it and then you tell the world like hey i was kidnapped i was thrown to a prison camp gun in my head no if i do this i get to live if i don't they'll kill me please oh my god this is terrible but uh but here's the thing, it's like, you were tricked into going there, 
by their father through Panzer Models Online, which is not a thing, but same people that did Panzer Models, so... Oh, and Gunny! Gunny from Panzer Models makes an appearance. It's hilarious. Anyways. But the father tricked you, hoping that you'd fall in love with his, one of his daughters, so you'd risk your life getting them out of the country, because he was being targeted and being solely poisoned, and he feared that it would happen to his daughters. And so, like, he tricks you out there, hoping you'll fall in love with one of his daughters and take the risk to get him out of the country. But, and when you do the balancing, you don't fall in love with either of them, you just get, you know, thrown in prison camp for a couple weeks to break your spear, and then forced to tr teach English, and it's like, oh, but I don't want to leave, because then they'll be executed if I leave. Oh, I don't want to do that, I'll be a good North Korean. It's like, yeah, but for how long can you, or again, go on a, go on a date with one of them, or both of them, and like, alright, book it across the border. But, they obviously don't give you that option, the game just ends. Second playthrough, I did a speed run, skipping over the stuff I had already seen, only going through the stuff I hadn't. Focus on Unji. She falls in love. Yay! So this time we're able to stow away on a ship and escape to Albania. A war zone. But they have a U.S. Embassy, so it's like, alright, so yeah, second little war zone, but there is a U.S. Embassy. Run. Get there any way you can. Escape. And then the third time I played through, I went for Zhong. I'm like, well, first ending, prison camp, first teach English. Second ending, you escape to a war zone, but you escape. So, so this is it. This is going to be the one where like, oh, you weren't supposed to go after Zhang. You're supposed to go after my younger daughter, Unji. So now y'all get executed. Now, you escape. This time in a different container, on a different ship, to Syria. Which, again, if it doesn't have U.S. Embassy, it's, it's right next to Israel. So you can just run to Israel and get to the U.S. Embassy. But overall, like I was like, like I had no issue playing through it three times, obviously. And it's it's a it's a good funny game with a good historical stuff in it, just like in Panzer models. This company makes really good games. I enjoy them. If they come out with another one, I'll be looking forward to it. So as always, like, subscribe, comment down below, and have a wonderful day.